Hello everyone, I did a small but important update for the Select Similar tool. Uh, there was an annoying uh, problem, bug, I guess, uh, that was not happening all, often, but often enough to be annoying uh, and made you not use the script at all. So what I did is just rewrote the, rewrote the script in Python and so the installation is a tiny bit different that's why I'm going separate video, right? Okay, let's do this, so extract here once you download from Gumroad, right, the zip file a uh, couple of uh, things, so you have a shelf icon you can use the main uh, the script, right, so you can copy this one and then uh, paste it into the your Maya my uh, uh, version and then here in the scripts just paste it here I have it already and then um, for the help uh, here you can find all the info about like how to use uh, supported version and release notes and whatnot but the important uh, part is the commands uh, so uh, if you're familiar with select similar uh, you already know there is two different uh, commands, let's say, select similar and select similar by topology, right? Uh, if you are a new user for this, then uh, just check out my YouTube channel. There is a select similar video that goes uh, a little bit more in depth about uh, what this tool does. Okay, so keep this open and then let's go to Maya. Open script editor. And here we will just uh, copy paste. So first select similar. Uh, you can use these commands actually uh, for shelf or you can assign them as a hotkey if you want so just make sure to assign them as the python commands right so under python uh, go like this and then you can just middle mouse drag it uh, into the shelf so as for a different uh, as for a, a different command you can if you want you can as, uh, assign a new shelf icon but what I actually uh, prefer more is just select this, copy. Then we will not use the script editor anymore. Just uh, right click on the icon and go uh, open. And then we'll go to pop up menus item and then create new menu, right? You can call it like uh, select similar topo, right? The same enter make sure you're on python and then paste the script here right and that's uh, basically it for the installation so now we have right right click is left click is just uh, regular select similar and then right click you can choose uh, topology based okay i already have this uh, here so you can assign the shelf icon like this if you want uh, it's provided with the this one right with the download okay to show you uh, what i mean by the uh, error we off the kind of hot one happened more more than i would like to so once you selected similar uh, something some object and you want to select uh, all others on the in the scene that have same thing and you press the i uh, to select similar Usually, sometimes like this could happen. Cannot cover data. Type string to type int, or sometimes would be type float to type int, or something like that. So basically, it, it just wouldn't work. In as you see, it doesn't select uh, my uh, other objects. So now, uh, when you select the uh, objects and then you use the uh, new com Python command, as you can see, uh, it nicely selects everything you need. So. This obviously can work on a multiple objects if you want. It's a little bit slower, but no. as long as it works, I guess. <laughs> Something like this, pressing G key here, right? So, or like, let's say you want to select this tiny bolts kind of thing, and instead of selecting them all around uh, manually, you can just select similar. And then it selects, you know, everything. And that's basically um, it. So there is no more this red thing going on. Now we have actually working uh, script here. 
once again, if you want to know a little bit more how this tool works, please do check uh, the previous videos about Select Similar on YouTube. Uh, they go in depth how they work. Um, the script is exactly the same. You have two teams to type of the Select Similar, Select in Topo. It's just this. This time it's Python and it's fixed. So it works the same. It's just a tiny bit different. <laughs> okay. Hope that you will find this useful. Cheers.